All right, I come here today and I'm going to lay out some of my floor joists. Now, first and foremost, that I have to address before I start laying out my floor joists is measuring. As you can see right here, this inside, this inside board is a little bit higher. That's not because they're offset, is because this board that I bought is wider than this board. This is the two by 10 by eight foot, and this is the two by 10 by 16 foot. Now, of course, I'm not gonna mess with a 16 foot board, so I'm gonna plane this down to even, because whenever I lay down my plywood, I do not want this gap. This is a good quarter inch gap. Another measurement that I'm concerned about is the width. I still want 16 feet from here to there. And I also want these two floor joists to be equal. So how do I come up with that? I've got to make sure that my frame is going to make 16 feet at this particular spot and I can divide the distance between these two floor joists. I'll show you the measurements. First of all, here is the difference between the 16 foot and the eight foot floor joists. I'll show you, this 16 foot one comes out to nine feet and a quarter inches. Of course, this is sold as a two by 10. This inside one, which is my eight foot one is nine feet and a half, which is a typical assumption whenever you're buying dimensional lumber. So we got a good quarter of an inch difference between this this board and this board. These are already attached together and my plan was to level them up on the bottom, get them flush with each other on the bottom so they can sit here, then come back and plane this down. You can see it's still a good quarter of an inch right here also. But this is the eight foot board which goes to here. So I'm playing these down even. These ones aren't too bad. These both are the 16 foot boards. Down here, looking at my other eight foot. There's a little bit, not much, not as much. A little bit more here. And it comes to a little bit, but I don't mind planing these down with my Ribo OB planer there to make these even. I'll have to check all of these. These ones in the middle on the middle beam isn't all that bad. This is where I'm gonna be putting my first floor joist. Of course, this corner over here is gonna be the front door on the plans of the cabin. These are pretty good. Well, this one right here is a little, it's a little up, but got kind of a curve in there. That's going to be corrected with the floor joist, I believe. 
Of course, those in the middle have to come out. And I'm going to lay my floor joists from this side. Moving this way. This being the front door. So I'm going to measure and make sure that these are 16 feet. And as I move this way, keep the 16 feet distance because I know I've measured and remeasured my 16 feet going this way on the 16 foot side. So the first thing is to do is to plane that board down to level. And then I'll move on from there. I planed it down, it's looking a lot better. The two boards are much more level. They're still sticking up a little bit down there on the end towards the corner, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna check the other ones and do the same and move on to putting in my first floor joist.